Poetry in Motion. What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to Profound Effect Tarot. I'm Brandon Lippy, and right now I'll be doing a reading for all Capricorns out there. It's be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of that sign, so that falls into your charts. This reading will be for you, and it will be for your health. It's going to be a timeless reading, so whenever you watch this, it's going to be the right time for you to watch it. I'm also going to get you an added message here from the money and the ball of attraction cards. Bam! We're going to get right into your reading. Hope you all are having a great Saturday. Put some great energy in these cards. Bless these cards. Do the best messages that we can. All right, the first card that I got for you is the Eight of Pentacles. So it's all about putting in the work for you right now. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is the novice. So this is somebody that's, uh, that's putting in that work and getting better at what they do. Uh, somebody that's saving their money, so I get that you need to save your money, you need to work hard, you need to stay focused on the task at hand here, um, not get distracted. It's very important that you do that. Yeah, because you have a lot of distractions out here. You have two pentacles, so you're juggling a lot of things right now, and it's hard for you to maintain the focus. This is uh, causing your emotions to go all over the place. So uh, you need to relax, you need to stay focused on what it is that you want. You're going to get... Yeah, I'm getting it's going to take hard work, it's going to take dedication, focus. It's going to take a lot, of your, a lot of your focus and your energy here to be able to get this done. And you have the Page of Rods coming out here. So this is something that you're very passionate and very excited about. The, uh, the Page of Rods is filled with fire and desire. This is a very youthful and playful energy. Somebody that likes to have a good time all the time. So uh, this person uh, likes to have a lot of fun. They're the life of the party. When they, when they enter a room, you can feel this. You can feel that their presence is in the room. This, this, uh, this is somebody that's an admirer. This is somebody that has a um, has a strong admiration for the work that you do. They think that you do a very good job. This gets them excited. Um, this gets them very turned on. Gets their, gets their, you know, uh, panties soaking wet. Um, gets their, gets, gets their, you know, their cock rock hard. This, this person is very, uh, very excited, very turned on by you and your work. They like what you do. Um, and this is bringing new love into your life. You got the Ace of Cups here. So this person has a lot of love for you. This is the start of a new romance here, um, an exciting one. Um, look at you. You're overflowing with excitement for this person, I get. And this person is um, also overflowing with excitement for you. Um, you two have a lot in common. You both share the same passion for a lot of things. You both you both do very similar work. Um, you're both uh, very passionate about your work. And you both have to put out the best. See, the, the, the page of Rods is a purist, so they, they always have to put out the best work. They, they want to make sure that they're putting out the best work. Um, so make sure you put out quality work is what I'm getting to. Don't just work and, and burn yourself out and put out a bunch of crap. Um, put out quality work that people are going to get excited about. That's, that's what you need to do. Um, not just to, to put things out there and put them out there. Um, quality over quantity is what I'm getting. It's very important to you. Look at that! You got the lovers card. I mean, does this does this love get any more intense right now? I mean, you got you had the, the the Ace of Cups, you had the, the Page of Rods, you had the the lovers card coming out here. So somebody somebody loves you. Somebody is in love with you, and uh, you two are starting to communicate very well. I see I see strong communication. The lovers card is ruled by communication. It's ruled by the sign of the Gemini. So I see a lot of communication with you with you two. Uh, very open and honest communication. I see you two being very vulnerable with each other. This is very natural. It's just like Adam and Eve here. This represents Adam and Eve here in this in this picture. And uh, these two just have a natural connection with each other. They don't have to try too hard. They don't have to do too much extra, extra shit. Um, but you have a lot of extra shit coming in with the Seven of Cups here. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of other options that are going to be coming in for you uh, to distract you. This is a card of illusions, distractions, um, and, uh, and daydreaming. Now you're daydreaming a lot about this person. Can't get this person out of your head. And if not, this person can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, strong passion here. You two are very turned on by each other. Very physically attracted. I get this is going to be a unifying factor for you two, is that you are very, you're very physically attracted to each other.
Yeah, and there's some heartache going on here. Uh, three of Swords. Uh, one of you um, may have been fucking around with somebody else and it really hurt the other person. And uh, they they may not say this, but one of, one of you needs to open up about this. Open up that the other had, had hurt you or broke your heart. And uh, this, you two are going to get over this. I get the, uh, the Lover's card is a major arcana, so you guys' communication. By being open and honest with each other about how you feel, it's going to help you to get over this heartache or whatever this was. This, uh, this third party that's involved in, in your love connection here. I get that this is a very powerful love connection. Whatever this is, you, uh, you two will get over this. You two will be able to work. Yeah, look, you got the two of cups coming in. So this is a powerful love connection. Um, I'm getting spiritual love connection. I mean, with, all, with the lover's card coming out, with, with the page of rods, with all these, these cards that signify love coming out here, all these cups, I get that you two have a very strong love connection. And uh, it's one that's only getting stronger the more you communicate with each other. This person sees you as the best. I mean, the page of rods, they see you as the best. They may have other options. They may be fucking around with somebody else, even currently. They may have another person to fuck around with, but they see you as, as better than whoever they're with. This is what I see here. This is a powerful connection. You two have soul ties. Magician. So you manifested this love. You, you couldn't get this person off your mind. You were thinking about them a lot. You, you manifested this love. This person sees you as very strong and masculine. The uh, magician's rule by number one, which has to do with, with masculinity, with the soloist. So this person sees you as uh, very powerful, very strong, very, very uh, sexy. Yeah, if you're a, if you're a man, they see you with somebody with a very like like a hard, sexy body. They they like that. And if you're a, a woman, you know you have very uh, very nice figure. Soft, supple body. Fat ass, big titties. I mean, this this person very physically attractive. Yeah, I'm getting you're worried about something with this lover. You're worried that something's going on. That you, 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 uh, you're maybe losing sleep at night because you're thinking about this person. Uh, fucking around with somebody else or cheating on you, whatever the deal might be, but you need to face this. You need to face this and open up the lines of communication so that your two, uh, your connection between you two can become stronger and uh, become all it can be. And that's going to be your reading. I'm going to get you an added message here from the money and law of attraction cards. Alright, and the message that I have for you, Capricorn, is I can pivot under any and all conditions. I can pivot under any and all conditions. And I'll read the message on the back for you. It says, you have the ability to pivot under any and all conditions. So, regardless of what's happening here, it, even if there is a third party or somebody that's fucking around with a person, I'm getting you're able to pivot out of this. You're able to, to manifest this love. Manifest it. Like I said, it's the, the power is in your favor. The power is in your hands. Because this person is, is very passionate about you. They see you. They see you as the very best here. With that page of rods. They admire you. They may even reach out to you. If they haven't done that yet. If they get this person going to reach out to you. But most of you are habitual in nature. And your patterns are so well entrenched. That at times. The fastest path to seek joy. Is for you to pivot as you sleep. By reaching for good feeling thoughts before you go to sleep and then experiencing the benefit of the quiet mind that occurs while you sleep. And then upon awakening, immediately turning to good feeling thoughts, you can accomplish the ultimate pivoting experience. And that is your reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoy that. I know that I enjoyed doing it for you. If it does resonate with you, make sure you do hit that like button and allow other Capricorns out there to be able to view these messages for their love life. For their health. That's what it's going to do for them. And also make sure you donate, or excuse me, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Click on that little notification bell so you don't miss your reading next time it's come out. Don't forget we do all 12 signs of Zodiac every single week, so don't miss yours. And don't miss your chance to donate and help us grow here at Profound Effect Tarot. You can donate to my Cash App, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information will be included in that description box below this video. So you can do that down there. 
want to say thank you so much for doing that down there. God bless you, and y'all have a great week.